forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Better load up on extra tinder in case the fire's going Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are going back to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! Y'all remember that time old Keith walked near home fire? <laughs> if I remember correctly, it was... I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior. But even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh. What else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildesvini. So good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <clears throat> Maybe later we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have.
thank you for saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I, I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. 
ready. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. You see in there, brother. Well, one I had never imagined. And what now? See to it. Together.
Ah, uh, Freya. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. Hold a few dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General. Lady Freya. I'm here. My lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. to first we could take care of any lingering business in the realms or investigate those pieces of asgard either way we are with you brother lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get together to honor brock's memory at rab's tavern <coughs> staff will find. i'd like to go Namir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Kraskelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Namir, what exactly did you promise the large bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. Enough. We will continue later. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see.
right up. Thanks for grabbing that for us. This here's the fun part. Oh, uh, what can I do for a job? What do you need, handsome? What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. We're meeting at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. <laughs> 